this isn't just about basketball. We aren't just basketball players. And just because we are basketball players doesn't mean that's our only platform. It was obviously a very emotional night as everyone's trying to get ready for the games. These players are arriving trying to get ready to play basketball, knowing what's going on in this country and the events of what's happening in Kenosha, Wisconsin was certainly on their minds. And I think a feeling of powerlessness kind of uh, was palpable that they're isolated here in this little bubble down here in Bradenton, Florida, with everything that's going on, things developed really quickly. The Atlanta Dream were the first team out to begin their pregame warmups. They would play the Washington Mystics. The Mystics arrived wearing shirts with the number seven on the front and seven bullet holes on the back. This obviously was in honor of Jacob Lake, shot seven times. And very quickly, those two teams gathered underneath one of the baskets. And that itself was a pretty striking visual to see two teams just literally minutes away from playing each other, having a meeting. Then the Los Angeles Sparks arrive. They would play the Minnesota Lynx in game two. And interestingly enough, Neka Gumake, one of the Sparks stars, is also the players rep for the WNBA Players Association. And ultimately it was decided that they would not play their games on Wednesday night. What we have seen over the last few months and most recently with the brutal police shooting of Jacob Blake is overwhelming. Shortly after a decision was reached, Elizabeth Williams, the all-star center for the Atlanta Dream came out and on live television with Holly Rose, she gave a pretty powerful statement. This is the reason for the 2020 season. It is in our DNA. We have been saying her name. We are lifting the names of black and brown women whose murders have been forgotten. We will continue to use our platform to speak of these injustices that are still happening and demand action for change.